10 Real Places on Earth That Seem Scientifically Impossible Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet another exciting video. When you sit back and look at the marvelous places on planet Earth, you'd wonder why people were quick to name the seven wonders of the world. If only we had waited a decade or two decades later, then maybe they would have seen some of the most breathtaking places that we're about to see in just a few seconds. These places have had the best scientists struggling to understand how they were formed, because they go against scientific law. From the boiling water to the volcano with blue lava, here are 10 real places on Earth that seem scientifically impossible. Number 10. The Boiling River Have you ever imagined that there's a river that's so hot that not only can it be able to boil eggs, but also cook humans' eyes and melt their skulls when anyone tries swimming in it? Well, don't be. Shockingly, deep in the Amazon lies a four-mile-long river that's better known by word of mouth than actually visiting it. The river can get as hot as 91 degrees Celsius without the presence of volcanoes in sight. In fact, the nearest volcano is 700 kilometers away from the river. How could this be? For a long time, no one could explain the phenomenon, until the scientists came up with a theory. Scientists believe that boiling hot water found under the earth heats up the river through cracks up to the fault lines, making the water very hot. No research has been made from this theory, as the water here is too hot for scientists to even risk their lives for. Imagine wondering about your adventures, and you find a cave. The excitement in your face as you enter it and explore a whole new place. Well, this happens in caves around the world, except for the one in southeastern Romania. Number 9. The Cave with an Atmosphere of Sulfur Before the Moville Cave was opened, it had been locked away for five and a half million years. That's a pretty long time to lock a cave, right? But it was locked for the better of humanity. Inside the cave, through the narrow shaft, and past a series of tunnels is a lake of sulfuric water. The smell coming from the lake can choke you to death. For a place that was uninhabited for all those years with no air, it was a surprise when scientists found 33 species that are out of this world living inside the cave. They adapted to the sulfuric atmosphere and lived by feeding off a of foam on top of the stones. It's a whole family of extremely unique and undiscovered leeches, spiders, centipedes, scorpions, and all kinds of creepy little animals. The cave was said to be found by workers who were looking to set up a nuclear power plant. They had to test the ground, making them crack open the pathway that leads inside the cave to the lake. Before we continue, go click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we have new videos. Number 8. The Petrifying Well In North Yorkshire, there's a unique well that seems to be something ripped out of a novel. I mean, how could you explain what happens under this well? For a while back, the petrifying well was believed to be a result of witchcraft or magic, until scientists proved it to be entirely a natural phenomenon. As hard as it is to believe, the well does make objects acquire a stony appearance for years, if not months. Water trickles down a cliff resembling a skeleton's grin from the side, and anything kept under the water turns to stone. Lots of visitors have left their things from kettles, teddy bears, to even bicycles for adventurous experiments. Most of them went back three or four months later to find their things frozen. Scientists explained that the phenomenon was caused by high deposits of minerals in the water. This causes a hard mineral shell over anything the water touches and thus makes it look frozen. We all know Chernobyl as the most radioactive place on Earth, but have you met her distant cousin? Lake Karache is so toxic that it makes Chernobyl feel safer. Let's take a look at it. Number 7. Lake Karache, the most radioactive lake on Earth Lake Karache is located in a place that was once a factory for Soviet Union nuclear weapons where they dumped nuclear waste. If they'd known that the dumping would later cause such a disaster to this lake, maybe they wouldn't have poured obscene amounts into it. You only have to stand for an hour or less at the lake for it to kill you. According to experts, this is the most polluted place in Russia and an earth in general with people living around the area being prone to higher rates of cancer. This lake remains evidence of how World War II changed the world in a lot of bad ways. 
Number five takes us out to Styria, Austria, to a park that goes underwater every spring. Nature doesn't stop surprising us, does it? Number six, Gruner Sea, the park that goes underwater every spring. During summer, winter, and autumn, Gruner Sea is like any other park. You can enjoy jogging in the morning, taking in the beautiful sights, go hiking, all sorts of things. But things are a little different during the spring. In fact, to do such things, you'll need scuba gear. Yes, you heard that right. If you swim in the spring, you'll get to see bridges, benches, alpine flowers, which, to your shock, will be blooming underwater. I'm sure you're wondering, what happens to the park? How is this possible? During other seasons, the lake is nothing but a small pond that's seven feet deep. During this time, the Hoshwab Mountains nearby are filled with so much snow. So when summer arrives, the snow on the mountain melts and the park's pond doubles in size, drowning the park. You can imagine the amount of snow that can drown the park. When the summer's ending, the water starts to recede and the park returns back to normal. Diving in this lake when the park is swallowed should be on your to-do list. Number 5. The Double Tree of Casorzo We've all at one point in our lives seen natural deformities in life, whether it's a human with two heads or something related to that. But how many of you great folks have ever heard or seen the amazing Double Tree of Casorzo? In Piedmont, Italy, there exists a tree that's growing on top of another tree. Crazy, right? But what's even crazier is that they aren't the same type of tree. It's a cherry tree below a mubble tree. Scientists weren't amazed with that fact because parasitic trees have grown out of others before, but normally they're stunted of growth and live short lives before falling off. What really captured them is the fact that both trees are fully formed, healthy trees, each spreading its branches five meters across. I mean, how amazing is that? This has struck scientists, and even them are still trying to figure out how it happened. The only accepted theory people came up with was that a bird might have dropped a cherry seed on top of the mulberry tree, and it found a way to survive. Imagine if this was regularly possible. Then we would be able to save space in our gardens and still have all types of fruits that we wanted. Do you have another theory on how the tree could have survived? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're at it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Number 4. The Never-Ending Lightning Storm Back in Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, is a storm that never ends. The storm starts at 7 p.m. every night for 10 hours, 360 days a year. Everything about the storm is mysterious, and nobody, not even scientists, know why this happens. People have created many theories to justify it, but scientists aren't convinced. The leading theory is that the shape of the mountains near the place cause warm trade winds to collide with cold air. That collusion is fueled by rapidly evaporating methane and water from a nearby oil field, though everything about this theory doesn't add up. At one point, the storm did die, and people thought it was over, until six weeks later, when it sparked up again and raged since then. Number 3. Sea of Stars Maldives is no doubt the most beautiful place in the world and has been ranked by many as one of the best honeymoon destinations for couples. However, another rather eye-catching phenomenon known as the bioluminescent shores are the peak of any Maldives story. This stunning view of the Sea of Stars on Bardo Island makes this destination a romantic site for couples to enjoy. The fairy tale display happens when a pigment called luciferin reacts with oxygen. When the waves come into the shore, they glow an eerie blue color, almost like they're being lit up by a sea of stars. Scientists did their research and found that phytoplankton glow often in times of distress, and they use bioluminescence as a defense mechanism to distract fish that may be looking for an easy snack. Amazing, right? Lots of tourists come here to relax and forget the worries of everyday life and rather appreciate the rewards nature has to offer. Though the advice is to plan your trip to take place between the months of June and February. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future videos. Number 2. Merging Oceans The picture shown here is genuine. Well, except for the blue and red lightning scene there. 
It shows the merging of two oceans in the middle of the Gulf of Alaska and a foam that's formed at the meeting point. These two oceans meet but never mix. At least this phenomenon has an explanation. A surface tension forms between these ocean water bodies and acts like a thin wall, which prevents them from mixing. This is because of the different densities caused by melting glaciers of fresh water and ocean water. Given time, it's said that the waters will eventually mix together. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! And number 1, the volcano with blue lava. It's strange but amazing to see blue lava. Kawa Ijin is found in Indonesia and has one of the rarest phenomena. It's described as the volcano with blue lava, as glowing blue liquid trickles down the side of the sulfur mine built into the volcano. At night, the water here turns neon blue and flows like lava. After doing their research, scientists found that the neon blue liquid isn't really blue lava, but sulfur. Sulfuric gases are said to heat up and then burst out shooting flames in the air. The flames then condense into liquid sulfur that spills down the slopes, making it look like a flowing neon blue lava. The sulfur is very toxic, and people visiting are advised to wear gas masks.